good to see each and everyone out here at Crossroads today and welcome to those on Facebook Live as well. And certainly if you're visiting, we pray a, a blessing over you while you're here at Crossroads today. Uh, announcements, uh, the um, High, High Tower Baptist Association Food and Clothing Bank uh, special collection that is uh, today. So at the end of the service, uh, if you want to donate to that, uh, that collection will be taken up. Uh, also, remember Wednesday night, uh, the uh, adult choir that gathers together at 6.30, those that can join out for that, and the circle of prayer on Thursday, uh, remember those, uh, those that can join for that. Are there any other announcements? Nothing yet. We'll have more I know coming in December. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, if there's nothing else, uh, we'll stand, we'll take up this morning's offering. Please turn to page 316. Page 316. Brandon Davis. I'm looking away.
mistake. I forgot that you reminded me. Uh, the first Sunday in December, we will have a communion service uh, here during the regular service uh, in, at Crossroads. Uh, it's just a communion service. We were doing it a couple years back prior to COVID. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and do that again uh, on December 4th. Uh, so uh, mark your calendars. We'll have a communion service during the regular service on December 4th. All right, thank you. Page 400. David Martin, I'm at leave one next. <laughs>
page 15. Andrew, have at least one next. Yeah. 
We're thankful this morning to see each and every one of you that's come out on this beautiful, warm fall morning. Such a, a beautiful day. The Lord has blessed you and I to be a part of. We've enjoyed the song service this morning. We always say that every Sunday. Uh, but it teach, takes each and every one of us and doing what we do to make up an hour service. We appreciate uh, Kim playing the piano and Taylor leading the singing and, and all of y'all coming and leading songs. We just appreciate you so very much. Mike's already said this morning, if you're visiting here, I want you to feel welcome here at Crossroads. Hope you don't feel like a visitor here this morning. But certainly above all things, if you're here this morning and never have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we hope and pray that this is the good day, the good hour you come and accept him before it's everlasting too late. Now I wonder this morning, everyone spoke to everyone this morning? Maybe so, maybe not. Let's stand to our feet, shake hands one with another. Make sure everyone feels welcome in the house of the Lord this morning. <laughs> Thank you for that this morning. Never take for granted the love you have among one another and the laughter that you can share and the fellowship that you share here at Crossroads Baptist Church. We don't feel like calling on anyone in particular to pray, uh, but we ask you all might just pray for just a little while. We've got some very familiar scripts we want to read in your hearing this morning, found out of the ninth chapter of the book of Acts. I'm going to read the first ten verses, and uh, God being our helper this morning. So you pray for just a little while. And this is what the Bible says. It says, And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest, and desired of him to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go to the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did nor eat nor drink. This morning I feel like that's all that we'll read and you're hearing at this time. And this morning I just ask you about just pray for just a little while this morning. And if I had a little thought or text that I want to share with you this morning, it would simply be this. Why kickest against the pricks? Why kickest against the pricks? I thought about this morning as we share a little thought with you this morning. You just keep that in your mind this morning. But let's go back just a little bit. God being our helper this morning about Saul, who later was converted unto Paul. This story is so, it's so real today as we begin to think about this and how the conversion was made in his life just as it's made in each and every one of us that's been saved and born again. But if you'll go with me for just a moment and you'll think about and go back in the book of Acts and you remember a time in the life of Paul there when he was Saul in his life there when he seen Stephen being stoned. And you remember that story when Stephen Mantle fell down at the feet of that of Saul. I believe from that point forth, 
I believe there was something that began to get on the heart and mind of Saul there. I believe how that he began to think about how the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe he began to wonder inside of his heart and in his mind how just really was Christ who he said that he was and he was who he said that he was and done all that he was able to do and the promises that he made. How was he able to keep them? I believe that moment forth in his life that he began to wonder and he began to think about these things. How but yet we read in God's word where Saul still lived his life how just like he was living before, how he was persecuting Christians and how he would go and do these things. And I thought about, and we think about how that Saul there, I was thinking about, I believe, how the Lord Jesus Christ, but yet he was doing these harmful things unto Christians. I believe in my low, weak mind, how well that he must have been a miserable man. I believe my little weak mind this time period, how wide there in his life, how wide he had no joy, how wide about him, how because you see, even before he had this encounter with Christ, he was kicking against how wide the Lord, how Jesus Christ, how listen this morning, we all know how that each and every day of our lives, how there's a battle that goes on before between the flesh, how wide the spirit, how we all know this morning, how that you and I, that we sin daily. Some of you say, well, how I don't know how what I've done wrong today. How listen, but I'll show you one thing we all, I fall short of the glory of God. How but listen this morning, how I thought about how that when you and I, how when we know better than what we do, how why that is sin in our lives, how you see the Bible plainly teaches us that, how you see when we get out, how why the word of God, how why when we get out of the laws of the Bible, how when we get out of these things, how you know what, how we're not going to find no joy, how we're not going to find no inner peace, how why like we want to I why not having said that how you see when we do these things how why we're kicking against how why the Lord Jesus Christ we're kicking against how the joy that he wants you and I to have how why in our lives sometimes people wonder how why why there's no joy in their life how why they can't find no inner peace how why in their life why how they just can't find what they're looking for how listen it's because sin how wise there how but thanks be unto God how the Bible teaches us that grace how why abounds more today how why the Lord Jesus Christ how that forgiving a mercy and grace that Jesus offers when we humble our hearts and call upon his name the Bible teaches me, as we read in your hearing this ninth chapter of the book of Acts, how we know and realize how uh, while that Saul, how uh, why he's on his way to Damascus and he's on his way to persecute how uh, why Christians, he's on his way how uh, why to bind them up, how uh, why and do away, how uh, why with them, how uh, listen he was totally how uh, why kicking against. Uh, uh, Christianity he was totally kicking against uh, uh, why the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, listen uh, what does that have to do with you and I in the generation that we live in today uh, because the world that we live in uh, oh today uh, uh, the moral issues and things that we see going on uh, uh, the evil the corruptness uh, uh, that we see going on in the world uh, uh, the world is kicking against uh, how the world, how the word of God is kicking against how why the Lord Jesus Christ, how but I stand before you this morning how with the good news of the gospel how the Lord Jesus Christ how no matter how hard how that it kicks no matter how hard how that it tries to tear down how why God's people in the church how we're still victorious 
and the Lord uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, while this morning, listen, uh, uh, while Saul, uh, while he was doing his job, wasn't he? Uh, while he was trying his very best, uh, uh, while to get along in that in his way and persecuting the church and those Christians there. But in his life, on that road to Damascus, oh, why, oh, how this one that he was kicking against and this one he was persecuting against, he had work for Saul to do. Unless the most unlikely person was who Jesus had picked out to carry his word. Listen today, while you most might seem like the most unlikely person to do a task for the Lord Jesus Christ, but I want to tell you what this morning, when the Lord Jesus Christ is in it today, I want to assure you of one thing, why it will work this morning. Uh, you see when he uh, was on that road to Damascus and that bright light shined uh, and listen that voice uh, uh, listen I can only imagine uh, it must have sounded uh, uh, why, like thunder out of heaven uh, uh, why, when it spoke uh, uh, why to humble uh, why I saw the way that it did uh, uh, why that he fell to the ground uh, why and fell upon his knees uh, uh, why I believe uh, he humbled himself in the very presence of the Lord Jesus Christ because he knew who it was that was speaking unto him how oh, well, the question that he asked him uh, is what does how thou have uh, me to do? In other words, uh, uh, what can I do for you? What uh, do you want my life uh, uh, why to become? Uh, listen, this morning, uh, uh, Jesus knew who he was. Uh, he knew how he persecuted his people. He knew how he kicked against him. Uh, he knew all of these things, uh, uh, but yet he died for Saul. Uh, just as he much as he died uh, for you and I he died for his sins uh, that he was committing a uh, wide his life that when this time come on this road to Damascus uh, that he might have this encounter uh, that he may too have this chance uh, uh, why for salvation and the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, while this is a man of great authority uh, but he humbled himself in the very presence of Jesus uh, and the words he asked was just what will you have me to do uh, listen this morning oh God help you and I uh, why is God's people not to kick against uh, why the Lord Jesus Christ and not to kick against uh, what Jesus is trying to accomplish in our lives uh, and accomplish in the life of our family and the life of the church uh, uh, just humble ourselves uh, before the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, why the Lord's servant and say Lord uh, what would you have me to do uh, what would you have me to do uh, listen uh, uh, why Jesus had a plan uh, why for the life of Saul didn't he uh, why he began to reveal it unto him uh, but I'm going to tell you what uh, why he had to humble himself uh, before he revealed it unto him uh, you see sometimes uh, why we want God to speak to you and I uh, we want him to speak to us uh, why without humbling ourselves uh, why in front of him uh, listen this morning uh, why a broken heart and a contrite spirit the Bible says uh, that he will not uh, why turn that away uh, why you say this morning it just seems like I pray uh, why and I'm not getting nowhere listen I've been there uh, but when I hug my heart uh, and I'm broken down uh, why I believe he hears that he hears me how about you see when I'm kicking against it? Oh, it might be my pride. Oh, when I'm kicking against, oh, why maybe what Lord, how the Lord is wanting me to do. How you see I have no guidance in my life. How about when we humble ourselves? Oh, why how we see what He wants you and I to do. We have guidance. Oh, why in our lives? I listen this morning. When we're not kicking against the Word of God, but yet we're letting the Word Word of God dwell with inside of us uh, so richly. Uh, listen, we're not kicking against the Word of God. 
we find what sustains us. Uh, listen, and it's Jesus today. Uh, we find what sustains you and I uh, from day to day. Uh, the abundant life uh, that's talked about in the book of John. So many people today, uh, they think the abundant life is all just the riches of the world. Listen, uh, the abundant life is the wisdom uh, that we get from the Word of God and knowing how to live uh, that brings joy and peace to our lives. And that's where we see the spiritual blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we're not kicking against it, how about yet we're going with the word? Oh, why, God, oh, why, Saul, oh, he did his very best. I'm going to kick against it. Oh, but I'm going to tell you what, oh, when the Lord Jesus Christ oh, showed up and his voice spoke to him, oh, he humbled himself oh, and he didn't want to kick against it anymore. Oh, this morning as an eight-year-old boy, oh, when the Spirit of God oh, dwelt with my heart and soul, oh, listen, I didn't want to kick against that, oh, but I just wanted to give in to it in faith and obedience unto the Lord Jesus Christ that he might say, Save my soul. There's so many people today. I believe in the world that we live in today how that walk among us lost and undone how just because they're kicking against how the Lord Jesus Christ they're kicking against how, why, how the plan of salvation today how, but I want to tell you the Bible teaches us there's no other name given that men and women, boys and girls might be saved than other name of Jesus the Bible teaches us that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, there's no other way to get to heaven except through the cross, through the blood, uh, through the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and believing in Him. I believe with everything that's in me by reading God's Word that even the day when the Lord comes back, there's still going to be people just kicking against it, don't you? Kicking against it. But the Bible teaches me that on that day that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Uh, listen, the Bible says that those men that was even with Saul there, that they was astonished uh, they was astonished at the sight they'd seen at what had went on. I believe they was astonished in my low weak mind that uh, they'd seen what had happened to Saul and how he had humbled oh his heart uh, listen they didn't see uh, no man uh, but yet they heard a voice uh, uh, listen this morning uh, when I was saved and born again I didn't see uh, why the face of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, listen this morning uh, but I heard his voice so what are you talking about this morning I heard him right down in here speaking to my heart and soul letting me know uh, listen, you've not never been saved. You're lost and undone. Uh, just simply come. Just simply come and bow and humble yourself and ask to be saved. And he saved my soul. Uh, the Bible says uh, that they took uh, why Saul there uh, when he stood up from the earth. The Bible teaches us uh, how why that he couldn't see. His sight had been took from him. Uh, listen, Oh, why there, when he went to the city, oh, why he had no food or drink for three days. Oh, listen this morning, how oh, will I believe in all this time oh, when he was there three days there. How oh, that was a fasting period. Oh, why for Saul there. I believe that he was in prayer unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't you? How oh, the Bible teaches us that he was uh, because he was praying 
Oh, Lord, just send me some help. Oh, Lord, just help me. Oh, why I'm the condition that I'm in. I send someone that might help me. I understand what's went on in my life and help me and guide me how that I might be the servant that you want me to be. I listen to vision. The Bible says how why that he's seen how a man named Ananias how why coming unto him how they might come where he was at. How why I'd help him in the condition how why that he had found himself in. I listen. The Bible says just as he prayed that God was also working why with Ananias to go and be where Paul was. I want to help him have understanding in his life. Listen this morning. Ananias knew who Saul was. He knew his life. He began to question God. Uh, listen, this is the same man oh, why, that persecutes Christians. Oh, why, and you're sure uh, you want me to go where he's at? Uh, listen, uh, God's always in control. Uh, just like he's in control control this morning uh, listen he said Ananias uh, he's already seen you come into vision uh, why he's expecting you oh God help us this morning uh, I'm afraid sometimes uh, that there's a whole world of people today uh, why that uh, why I was expecting the church uh, I want to witness unto them I uh, want to invite them uh, to show love and kindness and compassion unto them Oh, to give them more understanding, to help them out of their blindness, out of their darkness that they're living in, that they may too live in the light and live in the Lord of Jesus Christ. Listen this morning. How oh, I Ananias, how oh, I he didn't kick against it, did he? Oh, listen, if he would have, oh, you know what he'd have been doing? He'd have been persecuting. Now listen this morning. How uh, we can talk about that a long time this morning, God being our helper. Oh, uh, when we deny Christ, uh, listen, when we kick against what we know is to be right, we're persecuting the cause of the Lord Jesus Christ. You say, preacher, that's a little bit harsh this morning. Listen this morning. When we deny Christ and we deny the word of God, uh, when we consider what's going on in the world that we live in today and we're just okay with it, how uh, I listen today, how uh, we are denying Christ, how uh, uh, we're kicking against the word of God, we're kicking against uh, uh, the cause of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in one place that Jesus told Peter that you're going to deny me three times before morning. You can read in God's word, he done this, but now here's the good news of the gospel. Jesus loved him anyway. <laughs> and he went on, he died on the cross of Calvary, even for Peter, after denying him. So that's the good news of the gospel this morning. We may deny him, and we may kick against him every once in a while, and we may kick against the word of God, and listen, we may stray off, but he still loves us this morning. He's still able to forgive you and I when we humble ourselves before him this morning. The Bible teaches us that Ananias got there where Paul was at. The Bible teaches us that when he laid hands on him in there, why he prayed with him, I believe, and he began to receive his sight. The Bible teaches us how that Paul was ready for service, wouldn't he? Uh, listen, he found himself uh, there with the disciples, and he found himself there among God's people. Uh, let me tell you something this morning. Uh, when we humble our hearts, uh, listen, when we're not kicking against, uh, uh, while listening, wanting to go to church, you know, sometimes that's uh, some things, uh, uh, why, uh, we just want to kick against and give reasons why not to go to church. Uh, uh, listen this morning, uh, uh, when we get together with God's people, uh, why isn't it something, uh, why when we get together with God's people today, uh, listen, he found himself Oh, why in good company, didn't he? 
he found himself gathered together with the disciples. Uh, listen, I believe he was wanting to learn more. Uh, why about the plan that Jesus uh, why I wanted to carry out? Uh, listen, this morning, when we don't kick against the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, listen, we'll find ourselves gathered with good people. Uh, listen, today gathered uh, why with God's people that we might know, uh, why I might gain strength and encouragement through uh, their testimony. The Bible teaches us, so great is a cloud of witness. Listen today, I look among you and I see a great cloud of witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. And it encourages me today. Uh, listen, the Bible teaches us uh, why that iron hits sharpness iron. Uh, you remember that scripture? Uh, you see, uh, why we're not to judge one another, we're not try to live and try to live and be no better than nobody else. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, why we won't try to help one another. Uh, listen, this morning, uh, why when somebody uh, why is doing good, uh, we want to try uh, why to live like them and do good in the sight of the Lord for the cause of Christ. So when we're all joined together, just like we are this morning and trying to do good. Let sharpness, let the word of God, let the spirit sharpen us a little bit that we might go out in the world, uh, that the world might see Christ through us. Oh, if they might want to come to the house of God, that they might want to know the Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, as Taylor comes with a song and Kim comes to the piano this morning, I thought about as we've come to this part of this service. Now, if you're lost and undone, and you feel that tug at your heart's door, then listen, you can either, either heed to the call of the Spirit this morning, the call of the Lord Jesus Christ, or you can kick against it. Listen this morning. I thought about how we as God's people now, we come to this part of the service, the Lord Jesus Christ dealing with you, well, whatever it is this morning, you can heed to that or you can kick against it. But I'm going to tell you what, when you kick against it, if you're lost, you're going to miss salvation this morning. But if you kick against the Lord Jesus Christ, if you deny that spirit this morning, you'll miss a blessing from God. You'll miss a blessing from Him this morning. So as we stand our feet, I ask this of everyone this morning, just to be obedient under the Spirit of God. I bid you to move this morning. If it's to tell someone that you love them this morning, if it's to pray this morning, if it's to sing louder, if it's just to praise Him in your heart and soul, if it's to raise your hand and thank Him this morning, however He bids you, just do it. Just do it for the Lord Jesus Christ as we sang this verse of song. <laughs> I wonder this morning, is anyone a testimony in any way? What about prayer requests this morning? I know there's several, and I don't want to leave anyone out. So let's hear them this morning. Tony, I want to thank the church for praying for my grandmother Marie Red. They were answered. She is doing so much better. Amen. She's actually back to her own self. Amen. Bless you, Melanie. Thankful for this. 
the church will remember Mama. She's been in the hospital since Tuesday, and she was feeling better, but she took a little turn yesterday, but hopefully we'll find out something Monday, make some, she may have to go to rehab, but it's just going to be temporary, and uh, get her back home where she wants to be. Let's, let's remember Sister Barbara. Donnie, I have a co-worker that lost her husband the other day with cancer. She lost her five-year-old daughter years back in a car accident. So she's angry at God. And I tried to talk to her, but we still pray that she'll find that peace. Bless you, Linda. Let's remember this. I'm Gene and I. Let's continue to remember Gene and Ines. Remember Ricky Bennett. Now, this is not preacher Ricky Bennett. He used to live up here at War Eagle. His wife went in to have colon surgery. And she's having <coughs> issues. She's still in the hospital. But remember this. Remember this. Remember Aaron and his family. That's his grandmother. Remember Aaron and his family. Let's remember this. I believe the funeral service is tomorrow. Is that right? Let's remember this. We see some answered prayers with us this morning. Oh, Holby back there, he had some knee surgery, and he's back with us today, and we're thankful for that. Anything else this morning? Okay. Let's remember Steve. Oh, Mama, she'll, she'll tell on you. See I, <laughs> see, I didn't know nothing about that, but I'm glad Ruby Dean let us know about that. Yeah. Let's continue to remember Janie. She's taking her treatments. Let's just remember all those suffering silence still. Bless you, Cindy. Let's remember this. Anything else now before we go? We love you. We appreciate you so much for being here this morning. Hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful next week. I don't know if I need to. Y'all going to have some surgery back there on the back, ain't you? Yeah. Yeah, eventually. He has some knee surgery coming up. I haven't got that scheduled yet. It's coming. Our hearts and minds clear this morning. Wes, how about dismiss this, okay? Dear Lord, thank you for this day and the opportunity to come to your house. Thank you for the word we heard preached today, Lord. Watch over us. Be with all these prayer requests. Lord, in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.